أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تتخذوا اليهود والنصارى أولياء بعضهم أولياء بعض ومن يتولهم منكم فإنه منهم إن الله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل اللقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Before I proceed further let me explain two things regarding my last lecture I did apologize to the Yemeni brothers that I gave those remarks I want to add to it that things are not confined to any particular race or country I must admit now that now these days the most notorious people in saudi arabia are the pakistanis and i belong to pakistan so we must accept the facts but you know a country like yemen because they didn't have oil they were poor people they worked very hard in saudi arabia and they were a very persecuted lot among them there were some some you know wrong type of people also but it was just said in those days about 20 years back when i i performed my first hajj in 1962 at that time it was a general saying in saudi arabia that among the yemenis there are thieves so that came to my mind and i just said so said those words second thing which i want to explain is that we have heard and we have read three very stern pronouncements of allah subhanahu wa taala wa man lam yahkum bima allah fa ulaika humul kafirun wa man lam yahkum bima allah fa ulaika humul fasiqun wa man lam yahkum bima allah fa ulaika humul kafirun and i said that if you look to the muslims of today most of us they come under the you know this judgment of allah subhanahu wa taala what's the way out what can you do what can i do how to have solved ourselves of this big charge well i can't change the whole nation the whole country so what to do so there must be some way out the way out is there if we decide that we shall all our life we shall devote our energies primarily to changing this system and establish islam then personally it will be a kafara for us we have not reconciled with this system we are not cooperating with this system we are not after money and property and so on and so forth if we are devoting all our energies capabilities all time except for the little that we need for only subsistence you know in this world you need something to eat you need some roof over your heads but the minimum subsistence level we spend our time and money and capabilities only to that level subsistence level minimum and reserve the energies and time and capabilities and everything to establish the deen of allah then personally we shall be absolved this will become a kafara for us that is the way out now let us proceed further 
یادین امن اللہ تک یہود اور نسارا اولیا او یو ہو بلیو ڈونٹ ٹیک دی جیوز اینڈ دی کرسچن ایز فرینڈس دس از اے ویری کیٹیگوریکل اسٹیٹمنٹ یو کین ہیو بزنس ریلیشن یو کین ہیو گڈ سوشل ریلیشن بٹ فرینڈ شپ از سم تھنگ ایلس جس ایز آئی ٹول یو خلا تحد اللہ ابراہیم خلیلا اینڈ دی پروفٹ سیز نو کن تو متخذ ان خلیل تخص تو ابا بکر ان خلیلا ان دی سیم وے آل یا پروٹیکٹر ریئل فرینڈس آن اوم یو ڈیپینڈ اینڈ دس از کیٹیگوریکل یا یو الزین امن لا تخد الحود اب سارا آل یا بعد ہوں اولیا باز دے آر فرینڈس ٹو ایچ ادر دے آر پروٹیکٹرس ٹو ایچ ادر Now about these words, recently it came to my mind that actually when Quran was being revealed, this was not the condition. They were not friends to each other. They have been the Jews and the Christians throughout history. They have been bitterest, bitter most enemies to each other. Then why is Quran saying this? Wherever the Christians had the authority and power, they persecuted the Jews. Wherever the Jews came into power, even you know about half a century before the advent of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so many Christians were burnt alive in Yemen by Abu Nawaz, a Jew king. You know, was Samaa izatil buruj. ولیوم المعود و شاہد و مشہود خود اصحاب الخدود اللہ ذات الوقود اس ہم اللہ قعود و ہم اللہ ما یا فلون ابل مومن شہود تو وتھ انسیڈنٹ دس دیز آئی آر ریلیٹ تو دے ہیو بین بیٹر موسٹ اینیمیز ٹو ایچ ادر اٹ واز ایکچولی پروفیسی فار دس ٹائم وچ واز گوئنگ ٹو کم جیوز سلولی اینڈ سلولی ایروڈیڈ دی کرسچین سوسائٹی entered it from the back door like viruses first of all they divided them into protestants and catholics then they used the protestants you know they roared over them the vast white anglo-saxon protestants they became the tools in the hands of the jews and now recently they have conquered the catholicism also when they could expect from the pope the verdict that these jews are not responsible for the crucifixion of jesus and now you know vatican has recognized israel and the embassy of vatican is going to be established in jerusalem and pope is going to visit jerusalem isaac rabin He requested Pope, when he was coming back from Washington, going back, I should say from here, going back from Washington to, to Tel Aviv, and he stopped over in Rome and had an audience with the Pope, and he got a promise that I will come and visit. Now they have conquered. But still they are not friends actually. Jews have conquered them. They are riding them. So this is the condition. But now they are helping each other. For the United States of America, safety of Israel is priority number one in everything. Foreign policy, economic policy, everything. Priority number one, and they say it openly now. Now they don't fear to say it and proclaim it. Because after the demise of USSR, Now, because they are the sole supreme power on earth, they don't fear to say it out openly. So this is the condition which has, have, has happened today. These words were prophetic words of prophecy and denoting to our times. Otherwise, at the time of the prophet, they were not friends to each other. And they were not friends to each other at least for 1,000 years after that. It was after the rise of Protestantism in Europe that they, you know, started controlling. 
وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ And whosoever from amongst you makes friends with them, فَإِنَّهُ مِنْهُمْ He is also from among them. Very stern warning from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is happening today in the Arab world? I need not say anything. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَحْدِ الْقَوْمَ الظَّالَمِينَ Verily Allah is not going to guide such evil doers. فَتَلَى الَّذِيَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ يُسَارِعُونَ فِيهِمْ Now coming back to the time of the Prophet ﷺ. Again a mention is being made of the hypocrites, the munafiqeen. تَلَى الَّذِيَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ You will see those people who have a disease in their hearts. These words denote the fact. فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ فَذَادَهُمُ اللَّهُ مَرَضًا وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ مِمَا كَانُوا يَقْزِبُونَ In the very second section of Surah Al-Baqarah. فَتَرَى الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ يُسَارِعُونَ فِيهِمْ They are running about in them, moving about in them. They want to please them, keep them pleased. The munafiqeen, they want to, wanted to keep them pleased, the Jews. يَقُولُونَ نَخْشَى أَن تُصِيبَنَا دَائِرَ if somebody asks them, what are you doing? Why are you going so close to them? Why do you meet them so often? Why are you seen so, so often in their company? What was the reply? يَقُولُونَ نَقْشَا عَنْ يُتْسِيبَنَا دَائِرَ We fear that any turn of event may prove disastrous for us. As I said yesterday, last night, we can't keep all the eggs in one basket. We have to keep some good offices with these people. But God knows, maybe they get the upper hand. What shall we do then? This is the, their character. فَعَصَ اللَّهُ وَيَّاتِيَ بِالْفَتْحَ So, maybe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings victory for the Muslims. أَوْ أَمْرِمْ مِنْ إِنْدِهِ Or another some commandment comes from him. فَيُسْبِحُ وَلَا مَا أَصَرُّ فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ نَعَدِمِينَ And then these people will have to repent and be remorseful and they will have to regret on what they had in their hearts. وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And then the, the true moments will say, أَحَاوْ لَا إِلَّذِينَ أَخْسَبُوا بِاللَّهِ جَادَ آيَمَانِ Are these the people who were swearing as much as they could? إِنَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ That you are, they are with us. But we know when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has exposed them, they will be wonder, oh these people, they were bunafis. We taught them to be Muslims, Muslims, and they always swore by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by God, we are with you. Trust us. All their good deeds have gone in vain. They have been praying behind Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the mosque, where one salah gives the reward of 50,000. But you know, only for the moment, not for the munafiq. All their deeds will go in vain. فَاسْبَهُ خَاسِرِينَ And they will be the losers, the biggest losers. Now come a set of three ayat, which are amongst the most important ayat of the Qur'an. And here we shall find the word irtidad. What is irtidad? Radda yaruddo To turn somebody else. Turn him away, turn that away. Irtidad, to turn yourself back. Irtidad. And irtidad is also a legal thing and a hidden thing. As I told you, real iman versus legal iman. A munafiq is legally a mu'min, but really a kafir. So real iman versus legal iman. Real nifaq, real kufr versus legal kufr. And now third category, real irtidad and legal irtidad. Legally a, a person is burtad when he openly says that I am not a Muslim now. Converts to Christianity or to any other religion. He becomes a Hindu or, or both. Or also. He declares it. He is a legal burtad. But somebody is hiding in him he has become kafir, but he doesn't want to declare, just as the munafiq. 
ان الذين امنوا ثم كفروا ثم امنوا ثم كفروا ثم ازدادوا كفرا they have become kafirs they were murtad but not legal murtad murtad within and the same is the case of a person please note who joins the party of allah hisbullah he says i devote myself for allah and his deen and when there are difficulties and tests and tribulations he starts he starts retracting his steps going back going to the rear shading into the background this is irtidad but this is essential irtidad not legal irtidad ya ayyuhallazina amanu may yartadd minkum an deenihi oh you believe be warned whosoever amongst you will retrace his steps from iman real iman to real kufr remaining a legal muslim all the time fasafa yatillahu biqaumin so allah doesn't care about them allah doesn't care about you allah will bring another people yatillahu biqaumin yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu Allah will bring in your place another nation, another community, whom He will love and they will love Him. It's a mutual bond of love between Allah and His servants and bondsmen. Azillatin alal mu'minin. They will be very lenient and humble to the Muslims. Aizzatin alal kafirin and stern and firm against the kuffar, against the disbelievers. يُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ and they will make jihad in the way of Allah. وَلَا يَخَافُونَ اللَّهُ مَتَلَّاهِمْ and they will never fear or never care for the reproach of any reproacher. This reproach is also friendly sometimes. What has happened to you? You are not looking after your family correctly. You are devoting your time more to your party. You are not looking after your family. You are spending in the way of Allah, going on, going on. You are not keeping something with you for bad days to come. This reproach can be friendly. वापस नहीं फेरा कोई फरमान जुनू का तन्हा नहीं लौटी कभी आवाज जरस की खैरियत जहाँ राहत तन सेहत दामा सब भूल गई मसलहत अहल हवस की اس راہ میں جو سب پہ گزرتی ہے سو گزری تنہا کب پسے زندہ کبھی رسوا سرے بازار کڑکے ہیں بہت شہر سرے گوشہ بمبر درجے ہیں بہت اہل حکم برسر دربار چھوڑا نہیں غیروں نے کوئی ناوی کے دشنام اور چھوٹی نہیں اپنوں سے کوئی طرز بلامت اس عشق نہ اس عشق پہ نادم ہے بگر دل ہر داغ ہے اس دل میں بجوز داغ ندامت A true moment, he devotes himself. He invests himself. He doesn't care for his career, for his business. People will say he's a fool. I know men who come among us so far. Should we also become like these fools? They don't have any thought about their future. They are not mindful of their. Benefits and interests. They are crazy. They are fanatics. Well, Allah loves such fanatics. Ya yu aladin amanu main yar tadda min kumandi nahi fa safa yati Allahu bi qamin yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu. Three dimensions. May Allah give us this character. But there are three constituent aspects of this character. A mutual love between Allah and you. You hate both him, but you hate both now. Allah loves them, and they love Him. Azillatin alal mu'minin, aizzatin alal kafirin. Tough on the unbelievers, and very lenient and humble towards the believers. You jahid ona fi sabi Allah. Third dimension. They are exerting and devoting everything. 
for the cause of Allah, to make the deen of Allah supreme. And they are not caring for any reproacher. He is reproaching either in an opposing way or in an advising way. And this is the bounty of Allah. He gives to whomsoever He pleases. May Allah include us in them. And don't think the prayers of the bounty of Allah are not limited. All resourceful. He is all resourceful. And He knows everything. He knows who is worthy of this bounty. He doesn't throw it. His bounty is not to be thrown away. He knows who is worthy to have it. إِنَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Again three things. You must take Allah as your wali number one. Your protector, your friend. وَرَسُولُهُ number two. And his messenger. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And number three, those who have faith, who believe. And what is the character of those? Again, three things. Three dimensions of the character. Yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu. Aizzatin ala al-kafirin, azillatin ala al-mu'minin. Yudahidu na fi sabillillah wa la yakhafu na lawmat al Three dimensions of the character of a Muslim whom Allah loves. Three friends for you. Allah number one, His Messenger number two, and Ahl Iman. And what are those Ahl Iman? How do you identify them? Al-lazina yuqibu na salata. To establish regular prayer, you do the zakata, and they pay the obligatory charity. Most of the people have misunderstood this point, raqeun, and they keep going. What do you mean by going? When they give their arms, they give with humility. Not they think that, oh, I am superior to you, I am giving to you this charity. In humility. Because we have read in Surah Al-Baqarah that this sadaqat and this infaq, the first priority should be to those people who have devoted all their time to the service of deen. They don't have time now to earn their livelihood. You should look after them. And such people will not, not beg you. لا يسألون الناس الحافة they are not going to beg you. You will have to find them and you will have to request, please accept this thing from me. I know. You have devoted your time for the deen of Allah. You don't have time to earn your livelihood. I want to share. But please accept. So that is Not arrogantly. وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Whosoever passed this test, that his friendship is number one for Allah, and number two for Rasul, and number three for Ahli Iman, فَإِنَّ حِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ Then such a party of Allah will triumph, inshallah. But if you keep in you your blood relations and your friendships and your business relations and so on and so forth, this should be your priorities. Allah, Rasul, and Ahl Iman. And those Ahl Iman, not the Munafits, real Ahl Iman. Ya ayyuh al-lazina amanu la tattakhidu al-lazina tattakhidu deenakum hudum wa malayba min al-lazina utu al-kitaba bin qablikum wal kuffar awliya. Oh, you who believe, don't take those people, either they are from the Mushrikeen, kuffar, or from those who were given the book before. Don't take them as friends if they mock at your deen. Lariban, make it a plain thing. They used to, you know, laugh at Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to mock at the deen. Oh, no, now such a ayat has come. Oh, now they are laughing. And they were, who were they? They were the Jews doing it. But people who were friends to them, they were sitting in that company. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has, is forbidding them. لا تتخذون عليا فاتقوا الله إن كنتم مؤمنين Fear Allah, have his regard if you are real moments.
You should not be tolerant, so to say, to all this type of things. When you call for prayer, when you give adhan, well, they laugh at it. What are they doing? They mock at it. They make it a piece of playing. And this is because they don't have the real knowledge. Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O people of the book, Hal tanqibuna minna illa an amanna billahi wa ma unzila ilayna wa ma unzila bin qablikum. Are you hostile to us and full of revenge against us only because we believe in Allah? And we believe also in what has been sent down to us. And we believe also in what was sent down to you. My naksarakum fasikur, verily, most of you, aksar, majority of you, most of you, they are the transgressors. Qul hal unabbiukum bishar min zalika masubatan in dallah. Say to them, should I tell you what is more bad than this, worse than this? As a remorse, as a retribution from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, recompense. What is that? Man la'anahullah, whom Allah has cursed, wa ghazib alayhi, and his wrath has come down on him, wa ja'ala minhum al-qiradata wal khanafira. And he transformed some of them into apes, turned them into monkeys and swine. Wabadat Tahut, and they became subservient bondsmen to Tahut, those who are in rebellion against Allah. Ulaika Sharrum Makanam Wadalu An Sabai Sabil. They are much worse in position and rank, and they are the most far away, farthest away, they are the farthest away from the straight path. وَإِذَا جَاكُمْ قَالُوا And when now they come to you, O Muslims, that was their behavior in the company of the Jews. Now when they come to you, O Muslims, قَالُوا They say, we also believe, we are with you, we have the faith. وَقَدْ دَخَلُوا بِالْكُفْرِ وَهُمْ قَدْ خَرَجُوا بِهِ Although reality is that when they entered, they entered with kufr. And when they went away, they went away with kufr. They never tasted the taste of Iman. Even when they came in your company, maybe they spent an hour with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even that didn't benefit him. He came, he entered with kufr, went out with kufr. And Allah is very much aware of what they are hiding. And you will see many of them running about, striving for what? For sin and transgression and eating haram, devouring haram, consuming what is unlawful. Labe samakanu yamalun. Very bad and evil what they are doing. Lawla yanhahumur rabbani yuna wal ahbar wa an qalihumul isma wa kilimus sort. Now, this is another dimension of the decay of a society, of a Muslim society. Who were the Jews? They were the Muslims of the past. Weren't they? They were the former Muslim Ummah. When a Muslim society goes down, decays, one of the signs and symptoms of the disease is that the spiritual and religious leaders, they stop doing their duty. Their duty is to enjoin whatever is correct and right and to forbid from whatever is wrong. If they claim to be leaders, 
if they claim to be knowledgeable in deen, if they claim to have some purification of souls and spirits, this is their first duty. Laula yanhahumu rabbaniyun. Why are their rabbis not forbidding them? They are taking money from them and that's all else. Balahbar and their ulama, their jurists, their fuqaha, they should have forbidden them. Laula yanhahumu rabbaniyuna wal ahbaru an qalihimu al-isma wa aklihimu al-sahd. Why didn't they forbid them from saying uttering of sin and devouring and consuming what is unlawful? It's very bad and evil what they are doing, what are they are making. But they are preparing for their own future of the hereafter. And the Jews say, Allah's hands have been tied up. Why, why did they say this? For us, there is no good for Allah now. For us, there is no good with Allah. He has deposed us and He has given this position to Muslims. Yadullah Maghlula. His hands are tied up now. In another sense, they used to say, when Allah says, Akhridullah Akhridul Hasana. He is poor. We are rich. Nahnu Agniya. Allah is poor. Nahnu Agniya. So these are the utterances. Qalihum al-ism. Wa qalat al-yehudu yadullahi baghlula. Walla ta'adihim. Actually their hands have been tied up. They have been withheld from accepting the real faith and real deen. Their way to real path has been obstructed. And they have been cursed for what they have been saying. While Allah's both hands are outstretched, He spends whatever He wishes. وَلَا يَزِيدَنَّ كَسِيرًا مِّنْهُمْ مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنَ الْمِرْرَبِّكَ تُغْيَانًا وَكُفْرًا But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever He has sent down to you, O Muslims, it is adding up and it will, it will go on adding up in these Jews. The rebellion as well as blasphemy. The more Allah is giving you, the more they are jealous. Their heart burning is increasing. The more they are going against Allah and His Messenger, the more Allah is blessing you. The farther away they go from the blessings of Allah. وَالْقَيْنَا بَيْنَهُمُ الْعَذَابَةُ وَالْبَغْضَاءِ إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ And we have put for caste between them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. كُلَّمَا عَوْقَدُوا نَارًا لِلْحَرْبِ أَتْفَاءَ اللَّهِ Whenever they try to Kindle a fire for war. What does it mean? The Jews in the Medina, they always conspired. And they always encouraged the Makki, Bushrikeen to come and invade. We shall help. We shall help you from within. You come and, and invade. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, most of the times when they wanted to kindle the fire of war, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extinguished it. And they are trying to create mischief in the land. And verily, Allah doesn't like such mischief mongers. And had these people of the book believed in Muhammad and in this Quran. And had they taken to taqwa. لَكَفَّرْنَا عَنْهُمْ We would have blotted out from them. لَكَفَّرْنَا عَنْهُمْ سَيِّعَاتِهِمْ All their evil deeds. وَلَأَدْخَلْنَاهُمْ جَنَّاتِ النَّعِيمِ And we would have made them enter, admitted them to the gardens of bliss. 
according to what allah subhanahu wa taala has sent down wa man lam yahkum bima anzala allah fa ulaika humul fasiqun wa man lam yahkum bima anzala allah fa ulaika humul kafirun wa man lam yahkum bima anzala allah fa ulaika humul zalimun the other one is iqamatu ma anzala min allah whatever allah has sent down establish it this is as a system what allah subhanahu wa taala has given you as his deen is actually a political socio economic system based on justice at individual level hukum bima anzal allah at collective level at social level at the level of the state and society iqamatu ma anzal min allah to establish whatever has been sent down by allah subhanahu wa taala which we in our case is called iqamatu din an aqimu din wa la tatafarraqu fi And what does Iqamat of Deen means? Iqamat of Quran. All the rules and laws, all the do's and don'ts of Quran, establish them in a wholesome way, as they are organic whole, not part of it. Afatu minuna bi baazil kitabi wa takfuruna bi baaz. Fama jazaa maya falu zale ka min ku min la khizyun fi hayat al dunya wa yawm al qiyamah tu yuraduna ila shabil azab. Not that. Whole of it. So now you read these words. Walau anhum akabu Torah wal Injil, had they established Torah and Injil, the Ma'un Zilla Ilahi Mir Rabbihim, and whatever was sent down to them from their Lord, because you know, Wahi continued to come to other other prophets also, Torah and Injil, and we have so many books, books of Yasriya and books of Fala such and such Nabi in the Old Testament. وَمَعُونَ اللَّهِ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ If they had established it, لَأَكَلُوا مِنْ فَوْقِهِمْ وَمِنْ تَحْتِ أَرْجُلِهِمْ They would have eaten from their over their heads also and from underneath their feet also. What does it mean? The sky would have poured down all the barakat, all the blessings, and the earth would have brought out all its hidden treasures for them. These barakat, these blessings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala would have come to them had they established the Deen of Allah, the Book of Allah. Walau Allahu Maqabu Tawrat wa Linjila wa Maunzila ilayhi min Rabbihim la akalu min fakhim wa min tahti arjulihim min hum ummatum muqtasida. Among them, there is some group which is moderate and just. Few people are there. It's not that all the Jews had gone that way, but again the same saying in Arabic: "Hukmul aksar, hukmul kul." When the majority goes that way, it means the whole nation is gone. But in all, even in the worst times, some individuals remain. As the Lama Iqbal says, you know, "Khal khal is kaum me ab tak nazar aate hain, wo karte hain ashke sahar gahi se jo zalim wuzu." Even in the Muslim Ummah today, there are individuals, very pious people, very good-hearted people. But what percentage of this Ummah is of that type? The majority has gone very far off. Min hum ummatu muqtasila wa kasirum min hum saama ya malun. Many among them, the majority of them, is very evil what they are doing. يا أيها الرسول بلغ ما أنزل إليك من ربك أو مسنجر الله كنوي whatever has been sent down to you from your Lord you can't conceal even one ayah you know Quran contains even those ayat in which there was admonition for the Prophet himself. لما تحرم ما أهل الله لك؟ Was it a very pleasant sentence for the for the prophet? أبا سبعة والله أن جاءه العمى وما يدريك العلا هو يزكى أو يزكر فتنفع وذكرى أما من استغنى فأنت له تصدى وما من جاءك يسعى وهو يسعى فأنت عنه تلاها 
was just very pleasant for the present, for the prophet. But even these had to be conveyed. Even these had to be preserved in the Quran. On no account can you keep anything away. Can you hide anything? Ya you are Rasul, Balligh Maunzilaka the Rabbik. By Lantafal, Fama Balakta Risalata. And if you fail to do it, then you would not have fulfilled your duties as Messenger of Allah. Wallahu Yasimu Kamina Nas. And don't fear people. Allah will protect you. You may be tempted to hide something from the people lest they get offended. Don't fear them. Allah will protect you. He guarantees your protection. In the Lala Yadil Kamal Kafirin. And Allah is not going to lead such thankless people towards the right path. Again the same term. Kuriya Halal Kitab, Lastum Allah Shain Hatta Tukimu Torah Kaval in Jila Mamzila Nekum Rabbikum. Tell them, O oh, people of the book. You stand on nothing unless you establish Torah and Injil and whatever was sent down to you. But please read this very ayah in another form also. Ya al Quran, lastum ala shayin hata tuqib al Quran. Allah doesn't weigh with different weights for different peoples. His weights are the same. The rules are the same. لَن تَجَدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَحْوِيلًا وَلَن تَجَدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا Same values, the same standards, the same criterion. You are asking me, you are calling me, you are praying me, you are asking my mercy. لَسْتُ مَلَا شَيْهَتَا تُقِيبُ الْقُرَانِ You have no face to talk to me. Unless you establish Quran. That's why. We go on praying and praying and praying. Even Qulut and Adula. For days and days and days and days. But what happened to so many Arab countries in 1967? It happened. What happened to Pakistan in 1971? It happened. People crying, Oh Allah, Ya Allah. Allah doesn't listen. Lastu malashe. You don't have any face to address us. Who are you? Oh ya al kitab, lastu malashe in hatta tuqimu Torah wa linjil wa ma unzil alaykum bi Rabbikum. Wala yazidanna kasira minhum ma unzil alaykum bi Rabbika tuqiyana wa kufra. Again the same verse. What bounty is coming to you, O oh, oh Muslims? It is making these Yehud and Nasara whom the book was given before, more arrogant, more rebellious. But you don't feel grieved about this. Well, they will have to reap what they are sowing. And they are reaping what they sowed. So you don't be, don't, don't feel sorry for them. In the Lazina Amanu, the Lazina Hadu, the Sabiuna, the Nasara, Man Amana Billahi, the Yomil Akhir. وَعَمِلَ صَالِحٍ فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَعْسَنُونَ This is nearly exactly the same ayah as came in the 8th section of Surah Al-Baqarah, which is usually misinterpreted. Only one thing is to be added. Verily those who have come to believe in Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, in the Nazeen Amanu, and Nazeen Ahadu, and also those who became Jews, was Sabi'oon, and also the Sabi's, it is said that they were the followers of Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam. Wal Nasara and Christians. Man amana billahi wal yawmin akhirah. Wa'amila salihan. Whosoever had real faith in Allah and the last day, and whosoever was doing good deeds in his own times. You add these words. These are implied here. Till such time that Hazrat Masih didn't come, well, those people who were acting about Torah, who believed in, uh, he believed in Moses, who believed in Allah, who believed uh, in the last day, well, they were okay. فَلَا خَوْفُنَ عَلَيْهِ وَلَاهُ يَعْزَنُونَ Their rewards are preserved, ensured. And now when Jesus came, 
Now, whosoever becomes a Christian, he accepted Jesus also. Now, if he believes in Allah also, and he believes in the day, uh, last day also, and he is doing good deeds, well, he, his salvation is ensured. But now when Muhammad has come, whosoever has believed in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, accepted him, and but he must have iman in Allah, faith in Allah, faith in the last day, and must do good deeds. Not only because you believe to Muslim Ummah, your salvation is ensured. Not even at that time, before Jesus, because you believe to the race of Jews, it doesn't mean that you have the salvation for you. Iman Billah, Iman Bil Akhira, and the Rasul, the messenger of that time. Three things, and then you know, good deeds. لَقَدَ خَصْلَا مِسَاقَ بَنِ إِسْرَائِلَ وَارْسَلْنَا إِلَهِمْ رُسُولَ We sent, we had taken the covenant from Bani Israel. Again that surah of covenant I told you. وَارْسَلْنَا إِلَهِمْ رُسُولَ And we sent to them so many messengers. I told you the chain of prophets didn't break for 1400 long years in that former Muslim Ummah. From the time of Moses till the time of Jesus. Then was the first break of 600 years. Allah fatratim in rusul We today we have read those words. This was the gap. Otherwise, from Moses till Jesus, 1400 years, no gap. Kullama anfusahum. But what had been the attitude of the Jews? Whenever a rasul came to them with what they with what didn't, didn't please them. When there is a Rasul and he says, Allah says so, and they didn't like it. Fariq and Kazabu, some of them they belied. Oh, you are wrong. But Fariq and Yaktulun, and they used to kill so many. They killed John the Baptist. They killed Zakria. And who killed? Who was the king at that time? Yahya alayhi salatu wasalam was murdered at the order of that king, Jew king. Why? The king was very much pleased with the dancing of the daughter of his own wife. But he wanted to have this daughter also in his marriage. And he was very much pleased with him. She danced and he liked. And then the daughter said, I want the head of. He said, he said what, whatever you want, I'll fulfill your anything that you want, desire, any desire. And she said, I want the head of John. Because Hazrat Ayaya used to criticize him. Him as well as the mother of that girl. That is why he was, and he was killed. Fariqan kazzabu wa fariqan yaktulu wa hasibu Allah takuna fitnat. They thought that there is not going to be any trial for them. We are the chosen people of the Lord. No harm can, could come to us. Fa'amu wa sammu. They became blind and deaf. Blind, blind to all realities. Deaf to every message of truth from any prophet or messenger. They became blind and deaf. Summa taballahu alayhim. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept on forgiving them. Kept on forgiving them. Kept on forgiving them. Summa amu wa sammu kasiru minhum. But instead of mending their ways, they became more and more blind and more and more deaf. Wallahu basiru bima yamaloon. And Allah is seeing and watching what they are doing. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَالْمَسِيُّ بْرُ مَرْيَمُ These words appeared before also. Verily, those people have blasphemed. They have uttered blasphemy. They have committed kufr. When they said, إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَالْمَسِيُّ بْرُ مَرْيَمُ Allah Himself has come down on earth in the form of Masih ibn Maryam. God incarnate. Just as Hindus have the ideas, Ram Chandra was a God incarnate, 
Krishna is God incarnate. So that was the concept of many Christians. Vakal al Masih, although Jesus himself had said, Ya Bani Israel, Abudullah, Rabbi, Warabakum. O children of Islam, worship Allah, who is my Lord as well as your Lord. In the whom you should be life, Vakal Haram Allah, Walehi Jannah. Verily, whosoever commits shirk with Allah, declares someone to be equal to Allah, to be associated with Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the garden of uh, the garden of Jannah forbidden for him. Out of bounds for them. Vamawahun nar, and their abode will be fire. Vamad is Dalimina Minansar, and these evil doers will find no helper. Now, because God incarnate concept was mentioned before also, now the Trinity concept. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَعَلَىٰ سَلَاسَ In the same way, and these words are implied, in the same way, those people have also committed blasphemy. They have also become kafir, unbelievers, who say that Allah is the third of the three. Trinity. وَمَا مِنْ إِلَاهٍ إِلَّا إِلَاهٌ وَاحِدٌ While there is no God except the only one God. Allah is the only one God. By Lam Yantawa Maya Kulun. And if they don't give up what they are saying, if they don't desist, La Yamasan al Lazina Kafaru minhum Azabun Aleem. Very painful torment would come to them. Afala Yatubuna ila Allah. Don't they make repentance towards Allah? Don't they want to return to Allah? By astaghfirunahu and ask his forgiveness. Allahu ghafur rahim. Allah is forgiving. Allah is merciful. Repent. Mend your ways. Mend your beliefs. Become muwahid. Leave Trinity. And Allah, you will find him. La wajadu Allah tawwab ar-Rahima. They would have found Allah that he is very much tawwab who accepts Tawbah of the bondsmen, of the servants of Allah, and his Rahim. Mal Masih ibn Maryam illa Rasul. Masih, son of Mary, was nothing but a messenger. Waqad khalat min qabli al-Rasul. And before him, so many messengers had come, had gone. If he was a messenger, Moses was also a messenger of Allah. Ibrahim was also a messenger of Allah. Nu was also a messenger of Allah. Hud was also a messenger of Allah. Saleh was also a messenger of Allah. Shoaib was also a messenger of Allah. Luth was also a messenger of Allah. He was also a messenger of Allah. Man Masih ibn Maryam illa Rasul qad khalat min qablih Rasul. Wa ummuhu siddiqa. And his mother was among the most righteous. Siddiqa, this is the second degree from above, third degree from below. فَأُولَائِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ عَنَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ The pious Muslims, virtuous Muslims, صَالِحِينَ A step upward, شُهَدَاء Still higher up, صِدِّقِين Topmost, أَنْبِيَاء this Nabuwa was never given to any woman because it entails a very heavy burden of responsibility to be persecuted by the people. This Risala and Nabuwa was reserved and had been reserved for men only. The topmost position to which a woman could reach is Siddiq, Siddiqah. In our Ummah, As-Siddiq al-Akbar, Abu Bakr. As-Siddiq al-Kubra. Khadija radhi Allah. Siddiq. Ummuhu Siddiq. She was also not a part of Godhead. Must remember, you know, this Trinity. In the beginning, this was another Trinity. They included Mary also in Trinity. Godhead. 
later they changed excluded mary maryam alayhi salam and included the ghost the holy ghost ruh al-qudus this trinity has changed during the passage of time otherwise mary was also one of the three god as father jesus as son of god mary as god mother and actually this trinity they borrowed from the egyptians when christianity you know spread from palestine towards rome now the passage was through egypt and the in the ancient egypt they believed in a trinity god as father horus the son of god isis the god mother they had a trinity so the christians also they imitated them and they invented trinity in into islam it was islam the religion of jesus the lai salatu wassalam was islam they introduced trinity into islam and the the first trinity was god as father the heavenly god the heavenly father then jesus son of god and mary the god mother later on they excluded mary and now the trinity is god as father jesus son of god and the holy ghost that is why you will find that next aya bal masih ibn maryam illa rasul qad khalat min qablihi rusul wa ummuhu siddiqa kana yaakulan at-ta'am both of them used to eat meals but well, allah doesn't need any meals neither masih was god nor mary was god kana yaakulan at-ta'am so here the first form of trinity is being discussed انظر كيف نبين لهم الايات ثم انظر انا يفكون look to it how we are making the things clear to them explaining everything and then look again انا يفكون where are they where from they are being deluded away after all these things having been cleared then they are turning to the other side قل اتعبدون من دون الله ما لا يملك لكم ضرا ولا نفعا ask them do you want to worship Besides Allah, who doesn't have any authority for you, neither of good or benefit nor of any harm. For Allah who will must who is the Most Alim and Allah is all hearing, all knowing. Qul ya al kitab la taghlu fi dinikum. Again the same word. Gulum. Don't exaggerate. Don't exceed the limits. You love Jesus very well. You must love him, but don't. raise him to the level of god had oh muslims you love muhammad it's very good sallallahu alaihi wasallam you must love him from the depths of your heart you must love him more than anybody else except allah the prophet said la yumin ahadukum hatta akuna habba ilaihi min walidihi wa waladihi wan nas ajma'in none of you can be a real muslim a moment unless he loves me more than his father and his son and all the human beings love him love him but don't raise him to the level of god head la taghlu fi dinikum wala ghair al haqq which is not haqq haqq wala tatabi ahwa qaum in qad dallu don't follow the wishes of a nation who had gone astray the egyptians you have followed them you have you have imitated them qad dallu min qabl they had gone astray before wa dallu kasiran and they have made so many to go astray and wa dallu an sabai sabil and they had gone astray from the right path don't follow them don't imitate them barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al azim wa nafani wa iyyakum bil ayati wa zikri al hakim allahu akbar The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, iman, in one's heart. 2. 
A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three, a Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. Four, a Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.